know, Miss Karen, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing? Hey. All right, come on, let's go to the barn. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. Um, I'm a little later getting down here than I, I wanted to be this morning. Um, Brian was up sick pretty much all night last night, so um, it's kind of a long night. But I'm up and going now. You're going with me to the barn. Um, uh, yeah, Mr. Coon's footprints. Saw a nice big fat raccoon last night that we're going to have to keep an eye on. So we'll probably have to try to trap him or something. He was messing around the coop. Um, yeah, show you, we got quite a bit of rain. Uh, which is good. We needed it. It just makes fun trips over to the barn <laughs> Okay, so I was up uh, taking care of Brian now. I'm down here. I've got to get these guys fed um, They're not gonna need any water in their wallows or in their waterer At least not right now. I'll come back down and check later um, I've got to make this a quick trip because I got to get back up to the house so I can um, I've got mashed potatoes to make a sweet potato casserole and I need to finish the cupcakes and make some lemonade. And I need to get all the potato stuff done, I think by around noon, I think, I think. So anyway, I'm sending that with one of my sister-in-laws. I'm not sure which one or both or whatever's gonna pick it up and take it. Um, then I've got to get the cupcakes done and then got to figure out how the kids are getting to a birthday party today. I've got a funeral to go to in Maryville, which is a little over an hour away from me. Um, and then I need, I'll have to get back. I'm not sure what Brian's going to fill up to doing today. That's why I've got to figure out how the kids are going to get to the party. Um, cause it's a little over an hour away as well, just in a different direction. So anyway, let me get these guys fed. And then we'll chat. Okay. I turn around and I find this. So I've got to figure out some way to try to fix this. At least for now, I don't know why Parker is doing this. I mean, Elliot's helping, of course, but um, she is, she's being extremely destructive this morning, so I've got to try to fix this. So I'll show you what I come up with. It's not going to be pretty because it's just going to be until Brian can get down here. Okay, y'all, it's not pretty, but it's a patch job until Brian can get down here and look at it. Um, I've got a couple ideas. I'll run by him and see what he thinks. And I think it's what we're going to have to end up doing. Um, I don't know why in the world they're deciding all of a sudden to tear the side off the barn. the hole in case y'all are wondering yes they dug it back out again <laughs> I know the cool dirt feels good uh, we just cannot have them digging out where the gates at though we got to be able to get the gate open okay let's walk back up to the house see this those are frog eggs we're getting ready to have more baby frogs they are all over this water they were very busy last night. Okay, you got the sun behind me. There you go. Okay, we're walking up here to take care of the chicks. And yes, we have frogs everywhere. And I mean everywhere. These little bitty frogs are always hopping everywhere. Um, anyway. Enough excitement on the on the homestead this morning. Let's go check and see how these chicks are doing. Good morning. Good morning. Hey guys. Okay, they still got plenty of water. Yes, I still had to run and get feed this morning. Everybody's doing really, really well. 
Except for my little shadow over there, that's what Michael calls her. She's the one with the little scissor beak. Can you see? She's still so tiny. I mean, she feels full. You know, she doesn't feel like she's malnourished per se, but she's definitely not growing like the others are. So. I have my Karen. Hello, baby. Hello. Yeah. Say hello. Yeah. And Cuddles is right up there. But Karen's got to be down here with Mama. She's got to be on camera. I think she kind of likes the camera. Don't you, girl? Yeah. Okay. We're walking back up to the house. I have got to take a quick shower and get going on these potatoes because I really need to try to get this stuff done. And yes, I still need to run to co-op because I know what feed is in there will not last them through the weekend. So, I don't normally like to cut, cut it that close, but um, I just plain forgot yesterday. guys try them and tell me what you think Maryville from going to the funeral. Um, I just uh, shot a quick little clip of part of Jace's bedtime routine. 
um, it's picking on his PJs. It wasn't as cute tonight as normal. I will try to get it again when he's really into it. He loves to pick out his PJs. <laughs> he just loves to pick out clothes. So we normally we pull out whatever's clean, uh, and he he finds a spot in the floor and he just sits down. He, you ask him, so you ready to put on PJs? And as soon as he sees you grabbing them out off of his uh, little shift rope, he finds a spot in the floor and he sits down and he waits. And so we put them all out on the floor like you saw, and we go over what each one is. And some nights he's poking at each one, you know, he's talking about them, you know, and it's just baby jabber, you know, nothing really um, that you can understand. But he's, you know, he talks about them and he points at them, and then he picks the one he wants. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then he, um, then he pulls it off the hanger and he hands you the hanger to put back up because he wants the hanger to go back where it's supposed to go. So that's part of his normal nighttime routine and it's it's something that I don't remember how it even got started but he just he loves it and we've continued it um, and I just love it I, I, I just I dread the thought of the day when that's that ends because it's just so stinking cute <laughs> but anyway we're home uh, I've got it's let's see 919 according to the clock so I've got to try to get him to sleep. Uh, Brian and the kids aren't home yet. Uh, I figured they'll probably be home here for too long. Um, and depending on when they get home, I may end up taking care of the animals. If not, it may be uh, it may be Brian. But um, they're not taken care of yet because we're both late getting home. So, and I can't go down until um, either somebody else is here or Jace is asleep. Then I can run down really fast. So anyway, I'll probably go ahead and end today's vlog here. Um, I will let you know I managed to get everything done that I needed to get done today as far as cooking. Um, I got my mashed potatoes and my sweet potato casserole done. I got my lemonade done. Um, I think you saw most of it that I, I did. Um, and I also managed to get the cupcakes done, um, which I baked them last night. And then I made the Oreo icing today. Um, I didn't get to film it uh, like I wanted to. I didn't get it I was in a rush and I didn't get the Oreos crushed up good so I kind of fought with it the whole time so I, I've got more cupcakes that um, I made more than what I would need I always do just in case you know what was to drop one or I don't know you just never know I've done cakes off and on for years and just learned you have extra on hand whenever you possibly can so anyway I'll I'll do a video of that um, my kids really really liked it um, I think you saw that and so I'll do a video um, showing making the recipe and how to do it um, and it's really really good um, it's a nice change from just regular um, cupcakes so anyway y'all have a wonderful evening and I will catch you tomorrow bye